Welcome back to the 2017-2018 school year. My name is Jabari Woods. I am the Associate Director of HR and Equity. Today's presentation will provide you with information on anti-bullying and harassment in all its forms. We are excited to provide you with the bullying and harassment information in a new format that we believe will be both convenient and informative. You will need to complete this presentation no later than September 15, 2017, including a few questions to answer at the end of this presentation. Each year, we begin by asking each person to review this slide concerning bullying and harassment. You are an integral part of the Danville Community School District in ending bullying and harassment in all its forms. Bullying involves, as example, student-to-student, adult-to-adult behaviors that are meant to demean, belittle, and intimidate another person. It is important to remember the definition of bullying has two parts. A. Bullying is a repetitive pattern of behavior which intimidates, belittles, and can cause fear. B. The person being bullied cannot benefit from academic, social, athletic, and other opportunities within the school. In reflecting, do you know students or adults who exhibit some of all these warning signs? After reviewing this list, what else would you add? In today's culture, inappropriate behavior is often seen as bullying, and yet all behaviors should not be categorized as bullying. This is not an exhausted list of examples, but it provides you with information to review that gives you different ideas on how these behaviors can impact your students and colleagues who might be subject to such behaviors. Sometimes bullying, harassing behavior can and does happen between adults. Bullying and harassment. You have an obligation to actively listen when a student parent shares a concern and then tell student or parent what you will do to address the concern. Follow through and do what you said you would do. Follow building procedures, which likely includes notifying building administration. Notify principal about any incidents of sexual harassment. Please read this slide aloud. Harassment. U.S. Department of Education Office of Civil Rights. Harassing conduct may take many forms, including verbal acts and name calling graphic, electronic, and written statements, which may include a variety of social media, including cell phones and or Facebook, or other conduct that may be physically threatening, harmful, or humiliating. Please read this slide aloud. Remember, 
Harassment is based on one of the above protected classes. An example of harassment could be an African-American student wants to take an advanced math course, but is told it might be too difficult with few students of color. The student is perplexed and again asked to be enrolled in the class. The student again is told no. Afterwards, you learn that the student filed a complaint with the Office of Civil Rights based on discrimination because of his race, being African-American, and sex because he's a male. Please silently read this slide. The next few slides will give some examples of what sexual harassment is. This year, there are a number of slides about sexual harassment to better educate and inform you what it is, what it looks like, and how to get help if it should occur with a student or youth. Remind and encourage colleagues and students to immediately let your building administrator know what has happened so an investigation can take place. Every district employee and student has a right to engage in learning, athletic, and social activities endeavors free of being sexually harassed. We ask your help in stopping sexually harassing behavior of all students and adults. Please read this slide aloud. Sexual harassment. There are students who are transgendered, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and or questioning in our district that need your support and at times your protection. Every student in the Davenport Community School District deserves and has the right to exist without fear of physical harm, verbal, written, electronic harassment, and or ostracism. Sexual harassment. Making unwanted physical, verbal, or and or written contact with someone is considered sexual harassment. It is important to understand no means no. These types of behaviors could result in suspension and or termination from school work for the person engaging in sexually harassment behaviors. Please read this slide silently. Social media has become the tool for many to sexually harass an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, and or ex-friend. When using social media, please remember you are a district employee and could be held accountable for what you've said or written. Please read aloud. This isn't an exhaustive list, but the examples represent some acts of sexual harassment. Report instances of sexual harassment to the principal immediately. If a student colleague complains about being fondled, grabbed, called sexually inappropriate names, and or purposely made to feel uncomfortable, as examples, offer your support by listening. Please have the student immediately go to the building administrator.
Procedures when bullying harassment is reported or suspected. Want to know what happens if a student, parent, or colleague complains about being bullied or harassed? These are the steps that will follow. Investigation. Inquiry begins with employees supervisors who will talk to everyone who has information about and or has witnessed the incident. Discipline. If founded, an inappropriate behavior could result in a disciplined response. Retaliation. Any school employee found to have retaliated in violation of this policy shall be subject to discipline up to and including termination of employment. Any parent or school volunteer found to have retaliated in violation of this policy could be excluded from school grounds. Filing false complaints. Immediate discipline will result for anyone filing reporting a false claim of bullying harassment. Please review the slide above. There's additional resources available if you need them. Thank you for taking the time to review this presentation. Please complete this required training by visiting the link below.